Ming Hello Ba. We have and our mantra is organic waste is not trash. These are some of the projects we've been working with the last months. The main thing for us has been to start our new Bukashi yard. We really needed it more space because we want to scale up the production. So we, we found a great yard, but it was very, very overgrown and it was a challenge to get it clear so we could so set up the yard. Every single piece of uh, plant, bush, tree was composted. Nothing left the yard except plastic when we cleared it. We're really proud of that. And we made a fabulous compost out of it, which we used then to plant our banana trees and a garden out the front of the yard. We filled the yard with building sand, which the dogs love, but it's also very typical of Myanmar, of Yangon building sites. And we know that with Bukashi compost, you can make great fertile soil out of construction sand, actually out of more or less anything. We want our yard to be beautiful, so we planted 50 banana trees and a whole lot of other plants, palm trees, and we started to drag in organic waste from every corner of the neighborhood. Coconuts, dry leaves, food waste from the local markets, and many, many Bokashi barrels filled with food waste from schools, offices, restaurants, hotels, and uh, other local places. We built a shed for our new shredder. This is to cut out the manual labor with the machete to chop the food waste. We can make coconut mulch as well. And we're now building uh, compost stacks using shipping pallets. We tie them together so that they're easy to move around and open and close as we need to. The bamboo frame over the top of the stacks is uh, going to provide both shade and shelter. We'll be growing gourds and pumpkins and I don't know what on that frame. It will break the rain and also break the sun. We're getting in a lot of organic waste now. We're really proud of that. Uh, local TV channel has picked up the story and is helping us. And our goal is now to be producing 20 tons of organic waste per month. We're really proud of that. Our team is really pulling together and we're going to make this happen. Come rain or shine. The next big thing that's happened for us is that we took part in the National Myanmar Hotel and Food Expo in Yangon, held in June this year. A huge event with uh, hundreds of chefs taking part, and we took care of every scrap of food waste in that exhibition. We collected it in blue barrels. It was nearly a ton of food waste. We had, I think, 48 barrels. And as well as talking to many of the parties, chefs and hotel owners and managers that were interested, we also uh, presented at seminars and took part in uh, the events around the expo. Every single piece of food waste came home with us in the blue barrels as per our standard Bokashi method. We trained all the chefs at the expo and there was more or less no plastic involved. It was really a great event and a world first, according to the managers and the chief judges of the expo. Then we, a little bit earlier actually, we're backing in time, we went to Napoli because we had a, a group of hotel staff that wanted to have a Bokashi workshop at the beach. We did a two-day workshop. The day one was in the classroom with uh, presentations talking about the importance of good soil and uh, how uh, nutrient-rich soil makes nutrient-rich vegetables, how hotels can be self-sufficient in, uh, in vegetables if they want to. But the key to it all, as always, is to make good soil. And that's easily done using the abundance of food waste which is available in hotels and in a location, tourist location like Napoli. Such a beautiful place, but we also wanted to check the backside because we are Bokashi Mama. We went to the local markets to scope out the food waste. Of course, there is a lot of market waste in a city like this.
All of it could be used, of course, to make uh, great pokashi, and that is something that we're talking to the local council about. We also went with the, uh, the council management to the local landfill to see the tragic backside of the tourism industry. A lot of organic waste which is going to landfill, which shouldn't be, and leaves which are burning, which shouldn't be. We moved on to Mandalay, where there is also an enormous issue with organic waste. Uh, the council is doing a good job, but the situation is basically overwhelming. A lot of organic waste is ending up in waterways, it's ending up in unofficial local landfills, which are very, very close to the city, and which could otherwise be great recreation areas. So we hope to take part in a part of the urban planning which is going on at the moment and incorporate Bukashi into that new design. We have a lot going on, we have a lot coming up, and we look forward to telling you more about our projects later. Watch this space, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and on our website, www.bukashimyanmar.com.